Good morning. To uh, start the uh, introduction of the uh, online course that uh, you're finding in these uh, in this uh, channel, I just wanted to go through and give you some of the options that we presently have, and there will be others, I'm sure, as time goes forward. But as of this point in time, uh, just want to give you some of the options, and uh, so. The book that we were working with is found at a website called engutilityedu at forward slash tilde webans. That is for William Evans, and that's my myself, and I'm a professor in engineering technology at the University of Toledo. I teach the EET courses as well as I teach the EECS PLC course, and we use the material from that you're finding in these book in this this book for the EECS course as well as the EET courses and um, I believe it is suitable for a number of different uh, groups some of the simpler uh, labs could be used by just about anybody and as you progress they get a little bit harder but they're they're all doable so uh, as a matter of fact I just encourage anybody to try these labs because they're all very doable so um, the hybrid text is the text that we use and um, it came about because at one time I had a, a text that was um, uh, had a, an ISBN number and it was sold, uh, it was published. And then came along some Siemens people and asked me to uh, write a text for them. And I couldn't walk away from Alan Bradley totally. I, uh, they're the American brand and I wanted to uh, keep them in in any in any work that I did but I thought well nobody's going to buy this book because it's Siemens and it's Alan Bradley both but I found that it was it worked very well for uh, the people that were trying to get jobs because people need both they they need the Alan Bradley because that's what the American brand is but in order for the EET students to get jobs it seemed as if they also needed a little bit extra and the Siemens extra pushed them over to being able to, to, to get a job. So that's why the hybrid text, and it's free, and uh, it uh, will be as, free, it'll be free as long as I'm working with it. And uh, so it's been written over a number of years and contains material for reading, homework, and labs. And the YouTube channel accompanies the text. An additional text is in the works, which breaks down many of the labs. And uh, I intend that to be a book that you can just use for labs and it and it will go into the explanation of the equipment and will break down how to build the equipment and if you want to build it yourself I'm not encouraging anybody to go out and start building all these labs some of them are really simply just buy the parts and, and, and use them some of them uh, you might have to spend a little bit of time and have somebody construct a few things but they're all very doable none of the labs are expensive uh, the uh, last semester with the COVID, uh, there were a lot of, uh, we had to shut down the in-class and we had to do something different and uh, students came to me with suggestions and this was one of them and I didn't realize some of these things but uh, this is a, a letter from one of the students and he basically outlined what he was going to do and, and this is a EECS student but uh, it could have been anybody, and I wanted, I wanted you to have a chance to read through this. It's a very powerful way to build an open source PLC system and HMI environment, and it's from a company called Codesys, and they have a website, and here it is. If you want to read this and consider it, it's, uh, it's free, except for the Raspberry Pi and the parts that you would uh, buy that way. Uh, th there's a word of warning with this, and that is that when you walk into a, a, a uh, interview, if you say that I'm Codesys, uh PLC literate, you might get some raised eyebrows. That's why the Allen Bradley and Siemens is so important that you have some of that in your in your back pocket. However, some of you don't care, and some of you say, "Well, this is the way that things are going," and it very well may be. I doubt it personally, but on the other hand. I cannot ignore it. So here is a, a, a totally simulated and hardware solution 
that you can use and uh, it'll get you off the ground. Uh, the instructions that we talk about in this book, uh, I talk about many times the box instructions. Well, they have a series of, of circle instructions that do the same thing and we talk about them just a little bit. And this is the company that, 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 um, that utilizes those circle instructions. So it's the same basic instructions. It's just a little bit handled a little bit differently, but it's the same thing in many ways. If you want a just a strict simulator, PLC Fiddle works. Uh, I haven't used it, I'm, but students have, and they hand in uh, with these. And in the COVID era, they've handed in uh, projects with this, and uh, it works. So the uh, the Siemens solution that is put down below is probably the highest recommended solution that I have, and the reason is for $189 and a power supply, you get the works in the drawer. You get the software, the hardware, you get a real live PLC that works in the same environment with the same language that all their PLCs do. And I consider this a very generous offer by them because for $189, you're going to get exactly what you would get if you walked into a factory and it had Siemens processors in it. So this is highly uh, high value and you would if you work with this you're going to be working with the exact same software doing the exact same projects and if you like hands-on this is a good way to go now it's it does have simulation capabilities but it basically allows you to do everything with a real life processor and see all the results this would work with most of our labs now there are a couple of labs that you would not be able to do with a simulator totally a simulator but this one would work with with those other labs but again, um, if you go through all of this material and in chapter 17 and chapter 19 do the labs, there you really do need hardware. You need physical hardware and this would be the, the least expensive way to go in that. If you're sitting at home and you don't have any money at all, do the simulator. This is another approach and it's, it's a very nice approach for $189 plus a power supply. And I quote the power supply as an option. Now this is a $20 power supply from Amazon. It's got the, the cord, it's got everything you need. It's $20.99, something like that, plus shipping. But you can you can look around. If you want to buy the Siemens power supply, it's more robust. Uh, if you short it out, it's definitely going to come back. This one, I don't know. I hope it comes back. But again, uh, I'm just telling you some different options for the power supply. If you have a power supply laying around, and most of you, a lot of you do, Put it to 24 volts and let her rip. And this is just all you. This is all you need up here. You don't need the power supply. But if you don't have a power supply, then you have to go out and look. And there's a lot of places to look for power supply. Okay. So how would you buy this $189 piece of equipment? Well, you can call around. But basically, these are the two people that I recommend. And one is Detroit and, and Toledo, and the other one is South. And then the, and Toledo. So basically, it's Toledo South. This guy's Toledo North. This guy's Toledo South. They're different companies. Uh, they both work in the Toledo area, and they're both nice guys. So either one of them, I'm giving their their direct cell phone numbers. You can say um, the uh, part number for uh, the uh, $189 uh, 1215, the S7 1215. Uh, can you give me? Uh, the part number and I'll give you a, a credit card and, and, and we'll uh, and, and, and you can ship us one. So basically the works in a the drawer they'll take these and they'll ship you a package that contains the PLC, the 1215 PLC that works with this stuff in this in this course, the, um, the 1215 PLC, the, the Ethernet cable that goes between your computer and the um, PLC and the software. It's the basic software, but it works very, very similar to whatever that I have in here, and it works very, 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 very well. So you're getting a deal, and uh, they'll ask you who you are and all that kind of stuff because this is being purchased at a lower price than you can get it from if you were a machine builder, if you're building an automation system. Uh, you can't buy it at this price, but they're basically dropping the price so that you can, uh, people can get educated on this, okay? So that is a very good deal, and that's probably the best way to have hands-on. 
Another way to do it is not with hands-on, but with the Ellen Bradley solution, which is a student package of software, which has the emulator or the simulator in it. Not hardware, but just software. It's $108, and that would be through McNaughton McKay. And the guy there is De Derek Lejanus, and he has a number as well. And I would suggest, if you want to do the Ellen Bradley solution, $108. Now, if you want to do both, you can do the Siemens hardware, and the Allen Bradley software for 189 plus 108. Not a bad way to go. If you want to get both of them as you go through this, you may find that that's a very pow powerful way of going. Now, is there anything saying that you need to, to enroll in a course in order to do this? No. You can do this all on your own. However, if you decide to do a course, I suggest you look at these two courses because this is what we teach in these two courses, EET 2410 and EET 4550. So EET 2410 is called Mechatronics 1, and EET 4550 is called Mechatronics 2. What is Mechatronics? Well, it's looking at a process or looking at something and then trying to figure out how to control it. Well, we use the PLC as a tool. It's only a tool, so I'm going to talk about a process. If you look at this book, I talk about it from the process point of view, and then I say, well, for here you need this, 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 and there you've got it. So it looks at a process, not, okay, here's an instruction. Now, this is the instruction. This is what, this is how this instruction works. Then we'll go to the next instruction. No, there's a different philosophy here, and it is, I'm gonna take this program controller, and I'm gonna go out on the factory floor, and we're going to ask the questions, what does it take to control this process? And we're going to go through a lot of different ways of doing things, process by process by process, and we're going to talk about them. So that's why it's called Mechatronics. So we really differentiate ourselves from saying, it's just about PLCs. It's mostly about PLCs, but we basically talk about how you use a PLC to make something work. So that's why it's called Mechatronics. Both courses are hands-on and ABET accredited. The first course goes through chapters 1 through 13 and then goes over and jumps to chapter 15 and uh, a little bit in chapter 16 as well, but not much. Chapter and, and Mechatronics 2 goes chapters 14 through 21, does a more uh, deeper dive into those chapters. Both, cha both courses are hands-on or an ABIT accredited. They're housed in the EET, or Electrical Engineering Technology Program at the University of Toledo. These are found in the catalog most semesters, EET 2410, fall, spring, and summer, and EET 4550 is in the spring and maybe in the summer. If there's sufficient interest, and this is something that we'll talk about down the road, we will offer these courses online as well as face-to-face. -face. So if you're taking this and you're thinking, well, can I take this course online from the University of Toledo? And if it's not in the catalog for that term, please give us a call or email and uh, we'll, we'll um, email william.evans at utah.edu and we'll get you um, information as to how to take that course and when, when you can take that course. So we may actually put it in. If there's enough interest, we'll put this course in every semester, these two courses every semester online. So thank you and uh, have a good day.